Hi, hello, my name is Thomas Kim. Uh, in this session, we will make some changes to our application. I mean, we will make some, we will put some command in this MFC, uh, MFC ribbon bar. This is called ribbon bar. This, this part of, this part of the application is called ribbon bar. We will put some command here and I will show you how to. I started my MFC Visual Studio and opened my previous project. I copied and changed and renamed like this MFC Libamba and Dockable Pane. I open it. And here I select uh, in the class view menu and uh, I will show you some classes here. I will explain some classes here. C, C main is our main application window and this is C when output has some output C main window contains this C output instance C output window instance like this C output wind instance this classes instance like win output and win output output win also has some instances like a c output list c output list is this is c output list we will make some changes about c output list in next session but in this session i will make some changes to our mfc ribbon bar to do that to do that, uh, we, we need to make some change to our resource, resource view, resource, resource in our application. If you, if this resource view is not displayed on your Visual Studio, then click view menu, then click resource view, then resource view will be displayed. And in this resource view, select D2D graphics, then click it. Then click ribbon, ribbon, ideal ribbon, double click it to open it. Then here, if toolbox is not opened on your machine, on your Visual Studio, for example, if toolbox is hidden like this, then also again go to view menu and uh, <coughs> toolbox. And other windows, then toolbox, toolbox, toolbox. Where is toolbox? toolbox click this then toolbox will be displayed you also need to display property pane too if property pane you can also access from view menu and uh, property 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 window then this property window will be displayed so in the uh, MFC ribbon resource editor like this uh, drag and drop a panel here then this is new panel also the, then drag and drop buttons here then click properties selecting this rib, this button and clicking this property pane I will change it to um, I will change it off foot pane I will change it to ID to alpha pane and the button I will change the caption text output like this then you can see the output text is changed and then I save it click it right click this menu then click add event handler in the event handler dialog box click uh, main window main main frame window here the reason I am selecting main frame window is that uh, our okay I, after adding it add and edit then up in mainframe CPP file ma mainframe on alpha pane dialog on function member function will be added and added and enable us to edit it the reason I am adding our ribbon message like alpha message out alpha message here the message handler here is that if we see class view make uh, output window we are actually con trying to control output window 
output window is an instance of mainframe, an instance of C mainframe, then you can see an C output window has an instance called win output. So we are going to control its visibility in this menu. Say this M wind, sorry, M wind output window. Say here is visible, is visible, is fan visible, is fan, is fan visible. If this fan visible is is visible, okay, I will make it full be state state like this. I save the visibility of the uh, upper window pane. If uh, then I can change state like this. Click it and um, first show pane. Show pane here. Then I will change it the state in opposite. If it is visible, then it becomes false. If it is false, not visible, then it is true. Then I will I will reverse reverse the state. Then I will put like a V state. It should be always delay false. We don't want to delay and activate V state and save it. Now let's run it. Let's see our result. Okay, here we have new command output. If I click it, it is hidden. If I click it again, it is displayed. This way we can control output window's visibility. So if I click this and I click, then it is displayed like this. It's cool. Okay, I'll forgot to remember I want to restore in the previous session in the D2D graphics APP in INIT instance we changed the registry settings our application settings I will change I will I will leave it as it is instead instead of leaving it I will change it engineers best tutor the best MFC tutor I will change our registry key like best MFC tutor. Then we will rebuild. So next time when you mention about our registry key, I have to say we have to say we have to mention we have to access best MFC tutor registry key. So for I will build it once again, and I will make sure that uh, this is our new build. And I will show you our registry key again. Then I scroll up. Fast. No, not this. Is not this one. We changed it like fast MFC tutor. So we can use this as our registry application registry in next or in in future sessions.